Vasim Khan is a serial killer. Uh, I write crime fiction, and so I am always finding intriguing ways to bump off one of my one of my characters. Uh, when I'm not writing, I tend to play cricket very badly. I'm usually injured. Uh, this year, this season, I've managed to injure myself before the season even begins. My talk is going to be about my series called the Malabar House series, uh, books that are set in 1950s India, just a few years after Gandhi's assassination, Indian independence, with the horrors of partition still lying over the land. Uh, my, he my heroine is called Persis and she is India's first female police inspector. And in this particular book, she is tasked with the recovery of one of India's most priceless artifacts, a 600 year old copy of Dante's The Divine Comedy stored at Bombay's Asiatic Society. And as Persis begins to investigate, bodies begin to pile up. So crime fiction is the most popular genre in the in the world now. And for me, crime fiction is not only about challenging the reader's uh, intellectual vanity, uh, creating a puzzle with a great setting, hopefully, and, and great characters to follow. But it also allows us to tell you something about the world. And the series that I write, it allows me to tell you a little bit about the relationship between the British and India, which lasted about 300 years during, during the Raj, and how it ended and how it went on after 1947. And for me, that provides a wonderful context within which to tell you these, these crime narratives. Well, I've always been a nature lover. Um, one of my fondest memories of my late father is uh, the pair of us watching wildlife documentaries together. And he would love he would love documentaries about lions on the Serengeti. And, you know, he'd burst into laughter watching a lion make mincemeat of a, of a gazelle. Um, but for me, you know, I've always loved that, that, that whole aspect of nature. So as soon as I as soon as I heard Wild, Wood, uh, Wild Words Festival, I, I, I just I just wanted to be out there. 